Hello and welcome to Linda's 144 Hobbies. Good morning. It is like 8.15 on a Friday morning. I'm off work today as well. I was yesterday too uh, because I'm working the weekend. So I'm having some time to myself while my husband is working and my daughter is sleeping. So I thought I was going to do a um, grill with me or paint with me video again and continue on the mishmash tag questions uh, which I was answering in my last uh, paint with me video and the camera st uh, stopped recording and that's because I'm new at this and I didn't know that the camera just records like 30 minutes so uh, but before I start on this one, I have a small unboxing to do from China. I ordered this from AliExpress and um, it took a while. It was very cheap. Uh, it's a big tray for my diamond painting. Um, I don't know how much I paid. Um, but it was free shipping and all this, uh, very little money. I mean, maybe a dollar, maybe max two dollars, but, um, I will stop making those small orders from China because when they get to Sweden, I live in Sweden, you know, you have to pay some tax for it and the tax isn't a lot. I think this was like one or two Swedish kroners that's like nothing uh, but the mail office wants to charge a fee as well for handling the package and that's insane so this tray might have cost me like not 10 bucks but close to it actually so that sucks I'm, I'm never gonna do that so I have I have like six small orders coming from China and all of them are charged like that it's just so insane so excuse me for the crinkling mute your phones whatever you like to do I will just shut up now yes here it is I don't want this sticker. So this is the one I used before. I got it with a kit. Very nice. I love it. Uh, and I like that these, um, yeah, whatever. I like it. But what I wanted was a bigger one and I wanted the funnel. So this is nice. I'm going to use this one. And uh, what I'm working on is um, my black and white picture with Arya Stark. It's, uh, ooh, I think it's like 80 by 105 or something. So it's big, it's huge. I love it. Um, I was working on another one, which I ordered from a Swedish website. Uh, the one with the woman and the wolf. Beautiful painting, but the drills were just terrible and I just gave up after a little more than half the picture it was the the drills were too big and you know there were like um, this trash plastic around the drills I don't know it just everything popped all the time and it annoyed me like crazy so I did mail the seller and she is going to send me like 20, 22 new bags so I can at least complete the picture. But she has to order them from China, so it's gonna take a while. And that's fine with me. I just put it aside and started a new project. And this one I bought from AliExpress, but I got it from Sophie's Beauty Shop. Love it. My God, what a difference from drills to drills this is also square drill huge difference and it's just 
oh i'm so much enjoying working on this one so let's get to business i have my coffee very important in the morning i've had already a few cups of coffee i need quite a few to get me started mm, let's see what oh symbol should i work on i have my little drill pen i put some painter's tape uh, on it so the grippers won't you know uh, slide when i press the drills i press too hard unfortunately which makes the wax um, use up quite a bit but what the heck i want to drill the way i want to do um I have some new drill pens coming in. Yes, I finally found some I like. So I'm gonna make an unboxing on those in the future. Let's see, I think I'm gonna go with P. <laughs> that sounded just, you know, the symbol letter P, like Peter Pan. 452 is the color. And I'm using the Deris um, tray with the 45 container. I think I mentioned that earlier in another video as well. Yeah, I have two dogs and one little dog who's guarding our home and he likes to make notice that he's there whoever is entering the stairs so yeah and i need some wax and the wax i got in this kit um i think it's a bit dry and that might also be the re reason why i have to put new wax in my pen all the time but i i don't mind as long as i have wax i don't care i like to use wax um yeah so in the last video uh, my camera stopped recording at question 18 so i will continue on question 19 and the question is what's your favorite candy And candy, um, I don't know if chips and snacks is included in candy, but um, that is my favorite, chips and dip. Oh my God. Yeah, I think I could eat that from morning to evening, unfortunately. Um, but candy, if it, it's not included in candy. Well, you can never go wrong with chocolate, can you? So, yeah, then I would just say plain milk chocolate, maybe with some salted, mm, what do you call that? Um, either with peanuts in or some salted caramel or some almond in it. Yeah, I like that. Question number 20. What's your favorite sports team? Oh, that's easy. Um, I don't watch a lot of sports. But in my younger days, I loved ice hockey. Loved, loved, loved. And I lived in a town called Malmö, it's the third largest city in Sweden. So of course our home team there were my absolute favorite. But um, I was uh, corresponding with a Canadian friend uh, at that time. So I was introduced to the NHL so I covered my walls with pictures and posters and everything of 
all these hockey players and I just loved it. I could sit up in the night and watching the games and my favorite team in the NHL were the Calgary Flames and they had a player called Theron, Theo Fleury or Theron Fleury. Yeah, he was my favorite player. He was a bit shorter than most of the players. He was fast and he was aggressive and he had a temper and back then I liked that. Now, I read some of his biography book and his story isn't that glorifying or it's not so happy and I understand why he had a temper. So I think of that quite often when I see the hockey players today starting a fight and I'm happy actually that they uh, have consequence and consequences for their actions. Yeah, I don't like soccer. I don't like football. I think it's okay to watch when it's like the world championships or the European championship, then it's okay, you know, to support the team, but no. Okay. Question number 21 then. Uh, my favorite month. Hmm. My favorite month. Uh, well. The, the, th the first month that comes to my mind is June and that's because my daughter was born in June but I mean it's the beginning of summer it's late spring you know everything is in bloom and we usually have quite nice weather in Sweden at that time it's great hike hiker weather you know um, and you know you have all the the you know the summer in front of you and I, it's not that i enjoy the summer i don't like the summer but um i like spring yeah i guess june is uh, my favorite month but mainly because my daughter was born then and we celebrate her birthday and she's usually, well, she has like this, um, she's, she's dancing. So they have the big show where they show what they've learned the whole year. But I guess that's the end of May. But then you have the school, uh, schools ends. So you know, you need to get some clothes for that and the kids are just looking forward to that and yeah. So it's a nice time of year. Question number two. What would the name of your boat be? Uh, Titanic uh, 2.0 maybe <laughs> I don't know um, boats are beautiful um, especially these uh, big ships uh, wooden ships which they sailed in uh, like the historic ships but um, I'm not fond of water and the sea and all that. But sometimes what frights me, fascinates me. So I love Titanic 
not just the movie Titanic. I just like the story. It's a horrible story, but you know, yeah, I'll just I like the ship. I have a big boat model. I'm not working on at the moment, but that's like also one of my hobbies. So I have a ship I've started building. It's like a meter long, so it's huge. Um, so yeah, I would name it uh, Titanic 2.0. Question number 23, best and worst purchases ever made. Uh, best purchase um, my car I haven't had my driver's license that for that long only like five years and when I got it I bought the car I have now and I love it and I hardly dare say it but it hasn't you know been broken or anything so it's a very very nice car it's a Peugeot 308 from 2012 I think mm. so that I, I think that was my best purchase um, and the worst one yeah um, I'm sure I've done quite a few but not long ago I needed some uh, accessories uh, for the sound recording I make from my YouTube videos and I found this package with you know some cables and some you know this big black thing you put on top of the recorder you know to reduce noise and a foot to put it on and all this well so I just I guess I didn't read up on it or look close enough but I ordered that and when it came it wasn't for my kind of my model of the recording machine it was for another uh, yeah so I couldn't use much from that box so that was one of the lesser good purchases. It wasn't that expensive. It was like 30 bucks. But yeah, I was a little bit too eager <laughs> to I usually uh, check up on all electrical stuff I usually like use I, I watch lots of YouTube videos before I uh, purchase purchase anything yep um, um question 24 if you had to change your name what would it be that one's easy um, oh, I need to get that one off. That, that's trash. I would change my name to Rania with, with a double J. It's the Elias alias I've used on the internet for many, many, many years. And I got it from, you know, the children's book. Uh, Rania Roberts' daughter, I think it's called in English. I loved her. I still do. Uh, since my childhood, I love the books, I love the movie. So I used that name. And yeah, I even actually thought a little about a little bit about it that maybe it wouldn't be that bad to change name. So, yeah. 
question um, 25. If you had to lose a body part, what would it be and why? Remember, I, I answered this question last time, but when the camera had turned off. And I said, yeah, this is a bit personal. I, I would gladly get rid of, um, it's my, if you hear any noises in the background, it's my dog, he's chasing um, a fly. You know, the dog who's barking and protecting our home. So now he's getting rid of, rid of the intruder fly. Um, yeah, uh, private. Um, I would gladly get rid of my breasts. I know it sounds, I don't know. Um, I just think they're in the way. I don't need them anymore. I'm not getting any more kids. I don't, yeah, whatever. But... Uh, other than that, I think I would say uh, a leg from the knee down, so my lower leg. And why I would choose that? Because, um, you know, those uh, orthopedic uh, technical, you know, you know what you call it you know you can get a new leg and they make beautiful awesome legs now which i mean people are running marathons on two artificial legs now so i wouldn't worry too much i mean i'm not saying yay take my leg but if i would have to choose and i can't choose my breasts well then i would choose that sounds so easy saying that I mean I'm sure um, I work as a secretary at the hospital and write you know uh, with the doctors um, it's like recording dictating for the journals and some patients who are there who needs to amputate their lower part of the leg uh many i mean most of them which i've written about has a big problem of saying yes so i don't think it's that easy when it comes down to it to actually say yeah sure cut my leg and that's for healthy i mean for health issues saying that you you know you really need to do this you know to get well and mm, so um yeah i don't think i see any more peace it's a bit distracting talking at the same time uh answering questions while doing this but i usually miss a few here and there and you have to bring out the colors again so no. oh didn't I say I was going to use my new tray? Shit. Oh, that's so typical me. Where did it fall? Uh, sometimes I have to crawl around on my knees on the floor uh, to search for beads. No, drills. Ah, I keep calling them drills. Let me do it like this. Yeah. I have a tray box as well, so I haven't drilled that much and I already have quite a few. Many of them are like these um like the sit together. They haven't cut them off, so I hope there is enough drills. Yeah, let's go with um, A. Uh, let's go with A. 
and that's 30, 24. Let's use the right one. So what's the next question? Um, 26, can you cook? Yes, I can cook. I don't enjoy it though. Um, I do it to um, because you know you have to eat and you have to eat as healthy as possible at least I think so and if you don't cook you usually buy maybe you in Sweden you often make sandwiches with some cheese and ham or something and I don't think that's very healthy in the end if you eat it all the time or you buy you know like fast food or some food which is already made and you just heat it up in the microwave so yeah i i cook and it tastes better too of course but it's damn boring and time consuming con consuming um when you get ha home from work at five in the evening you've been there since seven in the morning i mean you're yeah, you're tired and you don't feel like standing at some, uh, yeah, in the kitchen cooking for an hour. So, but uh, I lived with my father when I grew up and he couldn't cook at all. And he just said, you know, you have to eat in school. And in Sweden, you have. Uh, everyone gets uh, a hot meal for free in Sweden. And otherwise we always ate sandwiches. So, I mean, you're not going to die of eating sandwiches, but I didn't look very healthy as a kid anyway. So, so that's why what I'm struggling with now. A simple question like this, I could have just said, yes, I can cook. Next question. And, you know, you just start rambling about all kinds of stuff. Question number 27. Oh, favorite thing to cook? Oh, sh well, what I make the most, what is most easy and what always tastes good is spaghetti and uh, meat sauce or you call it bolognese I think I think it's um, yeah I like that and you can do it in you know you can make that dish in so many different ways uh, so yeah I hardly get tired of that oh yeah and I'm <laughs> I'm also the kind of person who can, you know, eat the same. No, that's a lie. Because when I do cook, I don't want the same dinner yesterday. Unless it's maybe uh, spaghetti bolognese. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. Yeah, I forgot to set the time when recording. So the camera stopped again. And I didn't notice. Um, so I guess you didn't hear question number um, maybe 28 or something. Um, but I think maybe a 30 hour drill with me video is enough. Um, I'm still learning the process of filming and all this. I will make a new drill with me next week because then I'm I'm home alone. Um, yeah, um, I know I didn't do a lot on on the painting, but um, I want to still thank you for 
uh, watching and uh, if you have any question please leave a comment below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button because then I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.